Jury selection begins today for the Dominion Voting Systems versus Fox News trial. Yesterday, the judge sanctioned Fox for possibly withholding evidence. Dominion's lawyers will be allowed to depose witnesses again, and Fox will have to pay the fees. Dominion is suing Fox News for defamation, accusing the organization of knowingly pushing false conspiracy theories that the voting machine company rigged the 2020 presidential election. CBS News Homeland Security and Justice reporter Nicole Skanga is following this for us from Washington and joins us now to talk about it. Uh, Nicole, good to see you. So uh, what about this sanction? What can you tell us? Yeah, Vlad Omar, good to see you. A shocking revelation here, one the judge even admitted in court made him very, very uncomfortable. Dominion calling out Fox for withholding evidence and attorneys for the plaintiffs say Fox failed to disclose audio recordings of Fox News host Maria Baratromo speaking with former uh, President Trump's lawyer Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani. Now, the sanction or punishment here, if Dominion needs to take further depositions, sworn evidence from witnesses, Fox News will pay for them. And what's more, Judge Eric Davis saying he's likely to appoint a special master to investigate the Fox News legal team and get to the bottom of this. Why did they not turn over all of the evidence in a more timely matter. In a sign of where this is headed, the judge even instructed Fox lawyers yesterday to preserve their own communications with one another dating back to March 20th. Uh, Nicole, let's take a step back here. What will Dominion need to prove to the jury over the next few weeks? Yeah, Omar, the bottom line here, did Fox knowingly spread false statements about Dominion? Did they act with what's called reckless disregard for the truth, not bothering to really parse out fact from fiction on their airwaves and platforms? And it's a high bar, actually. Actual malice, you know, the reason why it's a high bar, you know, it largely dates back to a Supreme Court decision from decades ago, New York Times versus Sullivan. And it's allowed journalists some wiggle room in their reporting now, uncovering the state of mind of journalists and executives at Fox News, when did they know what, that's also going to be a tall order. But lawyers for Dominion here are sitting on a trove of communications, everyone from its chairman, Rupert Murdoch, to its primetime hosts, casting doubt on claims made by Trump lawyers in text, for instance. You know, one last thing, the scope of this case is narrower than we might think. It's a defamation lawsuit, right? This is not the big lie on trial. So the jury here is not determining if Fox lied about the 2020 election writ large. They're determining if Fox News published false statements about Dominion and knew it and how much that damage has cost the company. So uh, the company is asking for $1.6 billion in damages. Uh, how did they come to that number? Yeah, it's a good question, Vlad. Dominion actually commissioned an expert to determine its damages. That expert estimated the company sustained about $920 million in damages to its overall value as a business, plus $88 million in lost profits. Dominion is also asking for an additional $600 million in lost future profits, as well as punitive damages. Those will ultimately be determined by the jury. Dominion alleges that at least 20 companies customers ended their contracts or, you know, decided not to renew them after the 2020 election and that it lost business with another 39 election jurisdictions as a result of Fox's false claims uh, of the company's election rigging. Now, in filings, Fox has called into question uh, that big $1.6 billion number, calling it untethered from reality. The trial is slated for about five or six weeks, and we expect much of the end of this trial to focus on this question of damages. Well, Nicole, what's Fox's defense here? And do we expect any of the high-profile witnesses who showed up and in some of those communications, the Tucker Carlson's, the Sean Hannity's, do we expect them to take the stand? Yeah, we do expect Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Maria Baratromo, Lou Dobbs to take the stand, along with some of the Fox <clears throat> News leadership, Suzanne Scott. You know, the legal defense that Fox has leaned on the most is the First Amendment, arguing that news organizations have protections and rights to cover topics and statements, particularly those made by elected officials like former President Trump. And in court, Fox's lawyers have argued that the network was merely reporting on what 
Mr. Trump and his allies were saying about fraud and Dominion machines, not endorsing that false information. Now, we have seen some pushback here already from the judge. For example, during yesterday's pretrial hearing, the judge repeatedly telling lawyers, you know, that arguing something is newsworthy or important is not a credible defense in this case of actual malice. He went on to say, you know, I, I'm not a First Amendment scholar, but it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, you know, and if you find actual malice, again, it's not a defense to say that it's newsworthy. And Judge Davis said he'll be making sure the jury knows this in their instructions. A lot to unpack there, and we haven't even started the trial. Nicole Skanga, thank you very much. Thank you.